When I think of the day of Pentecost, I think of popcorn. And I think about how God met with his first followers as the disciples were in the upper room and they were praying. Jesus had said to them, wait till you receive power from on high and then you will go out into the world. They were sat there, they were praying, they were calling on God. Like the kernels that you see in the videos that you're watching now on the screen. And as the heat is applied to their popcorn kernels, as they're placed in oil and heat is applied, we see them beginning to pop. We see them being beginning to be transformed. You wouldn't start chewing on some popcorn kernels, but when the popcorn is complete, you would. Like a car in a garage, absolutely useless. But when we drive it, when we move it, when the Holy Spirit comes upon us, we're driven out. And in fact, that's the evidence of the Holy Spirit in the book of Acts. When the Spirit comes upon people in the book of Acts, they go out. They begin to talk about Jesus. They begin to tell people about who Jesus is. As we think about Pentecost, how will this inspire us? Will we be driven out? Will we want to take the good news to the people around us? Perhaps by sharing something on social media. Perhaps by giving someone a phone call. Perhaps by an act of kindness, doing something for someone. Perhaps by writing a note or a letter. How will we take the good news? How will we let people see the presence of God in us? And how will we let it overflow out of us? What is it that we're full of? The answer to how do we become more effective evangelists is not to try harder. It's not to learn better techniques. It's to be so full of the presence of God that people see him flowing out of us.